today I thought I would introduce you to my three fairy friends. And you might be wondering why three? I've always had just two cats. Well, around a week ago, we got a new baby in the house, and that's a little doggy, which I'm going to show you in a second. I have been posting some pictures of the doggy in my Instagram account, so if you're not friends with me on Instagram, then join me. That's my username, just find me. I post pictures of my daily life. All right, so, Julieta, Julieta, Julieta. The dog is sleeping, she doesn't want to come, I think I'll go and get her, so I can show her. I can't wait to show you. So here's my doggy, Julieta. Oh, she wants to sleep. I hope you can see her. I've just woken her up, she's having an afternoon nap, so she's really sleepy. Her full name is Julieta Sprint Veloce, just because my Italian husband is quite crazy about classic cars, and he wanted to give her a name of a classic car just because sprint veloce means sprint fast and she's a hunting dog, she's super fast so we thought it was an appropriate name yeah, my husband thought so at least <laughs> she's really sleepy so we got her a week ago when she was three and a half months um, she was rescued from horrible conditions together with four other dogs she was locked up in a shed and this kind of things happen on the Canarian Islands all the time because these dogs are primarily used for hunting and the stupid hunters think that in order to, to make them hunt better they're supposed to be beaten up, tortured, kept in the dark, without food, starving they're basically um, treated as tools rather than live animals <laughs> but they're actually the cutest little breed in the world <laughs> look at this little baby so she's only three and a half months old now, or almost four months, but she's just a little baby, an overgrown baby. She's super, super playful. She's hyperactive at times. She loves biting and licking my fingers. And she's a bit of a being in the butt in terms of, you know, house training and things, body training and things like that. But you can't really be angry with her for a long time because she's so cute. <laughs> yeah. I think she's getting into one of those hyperactive moments right now. So this doggy is going to grow slightly bigger. She's 13 and a half kilos now. She's going to be 24, around 24, 23. So quite a big dog. Well, officially it's a medium dog, but they're really thin and really tall. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. This breed is called Podenco Canario. And they come from here, from the Canarian Islands. They are primarily for hunting rabbits. Um, it's a pity that locals don't really know this breed because they're just kept in cages for hunting. They don't really see their life, they don't meet other people, so nobody knows. And everybody keeps stopping us on the street asking what breed she is. Everybody's really curious. So I'm sure that the best way to fight this torture and, and horrible behavior of these dogs is just by educating people and making them aware of this amazing breed that they have on the island and they don't even know. Her teeth growing right now. so. She's biting everything that she can get hold of. It's a bit of a nightmare, <laughs> but that's okay. Stop biting! Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> she doesn't want to show her face. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the kitties. I'm going to show you what they look like. I'll tell you quickly the story of how they came to this house because none of our animals were bought. Um, we rescued them all, so let's go to the kitties. So this is our makeshift um, barricade separating the living room and the kitchen from the rest of the house because the doggy keeps peeing in the bedroom if we let her go there so yeah I'm sorry for the ugly appearance but it will have to stay there for the next couple of months or until we start trusting her enough. So this one here is Mr. Jimmy and he's not Jimmy anymore, he's now Mr. Jimmy because a few days ago we celebrated his first birthday so he's officially not a kitten anymore He's not an adult, so he's supposed to be called Mr. Jimmy. We're here in Spain, we call him Senor Jimmy. This kid is beautiful now and is slightly overweight, so he is on a diet and trying to get him back to normal weight. When we found him, he was seriously malnourished. We basically got him from the bushes. He was living with a family of homeless cats and he was one of the many kittens um, in that generation and he was really, really sick, so every time we were passing by those bushes, we kept an eye on this kitten just to see, you know, if he was improving or if he was getting worse. 
And one day we found the kitten just sitting there, uh, not being able to move at all. His eyes were completely closed with a puss. He had a really bad infection. He couldn't breathe properly, he was choking. He had really blocked nose, he had a cough. He was in a really bad state and he was seriously thin and malnourished. And what we think happened is that his mom uh, abandoned him because she thought he was going to die. That's what happens in the animal world. If the mom thinks it's not worth trying to save the kid, she'll just stop feeding him or her in order to feed um, the other kittens that are healthier. So we grabbed him and he brought him to the vet and the vet said that if he had waited for another 24 hours he would have probably died. So I'm so happy we saved this little um, bowl of fur. But we fell in love and we just couldn't imagine living without this little white kitten anymore and so we kept him. We also th saw how he affected our other cat, Serena. She became so much calmer and more loving and just so much better. So we decided that a little brother would probably be quite a nice thing for her to have. So yeah, I'm so happy we were able to give him a beautiful new life. And he was also a kind of symbol of hope because when we found him, it was a very special moment of our life. It's when after a long time of being in a dark tunnel, we finally saw light at the end of the tunnel and on the same day we found him so far this is like a symbol of our new beautiful life and this is Serena our third cat actually she was the first pet we got here her name is Serena and that's because she cries a lot and when she does it she kind of sounds like a sound like meow, 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 like that yeah she has a very strong voice and she's a snowshoe Siamese and as a Siamese she's very, very loud she talks a lot and she also likes going for jogs and going for a walk with us. I'll try to insert a little clip for you <laughs> so you can see what I mean. She's just like a dog. She's amazing. She's probably better than a dog. But she's an amazing cat. She's really loving to her little brother as well. And I hope she'll be the same with her little Julieta. Because for now, they're not friends yet. But I hope that will change. Her life until she met us was not very happy either. She was living with very bad people who were treating her really badly and she was more or less homeless. And she was allowed to have kittens every four or five months as well, so she was badly malnourished. She was just in a very bad state even though she was only three years old when we found her. So we decided to rescue her and we moved to another city with her and here we are now. We've had her for a year and a half now. She's super healthy, super fit and I couldn't really wish for a more beautiful and better behaving cat. She's just amazing. She likes being outside as well. She spends most of the day hunting lizards while the other kitty, Jimmy, just spends all day long with us, literally following us, following us everywhere like a dog. And now that we have Julieta, I'm not sure how the dynamics in the house is going to change because they're not really friends yet, but I hope they soon will be running around the house playing together. So I think our little animal family is complete now. I don't think we're going to get another animal. I hope you like my little introduction to my furry family and if you have any pets then please tell me in the comments about them, what animal they are, how old they are, what they look like, what their name is and so on. I would really love to know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I made you smile a little bit by showing you my cute animals and I hope you're having a good day. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! There's no gravity that sucked me in your orbit. There's no magnet that was in your heart. One restriction was the friction that was keeping us a little too far apart.